So I've been asked by several people to do a video on changing colors on a flat image like JPEG or PNG file. And you can do that, but you need a raster editor. You can't do that in something like um, Design Space or um, even StarCraft Create. So you can do it in GIMP if you go to GIMP.org. It's a free program. Just download it and install it on your computer. And then when you open it up, it's going to look just like this. Okay. I have the um, help about the 2.10.30. I think it's the newest one because I haven't used GIMP in such a long time. The other day when I used it yesterday, I think, I was... I was still in the ones. I wasn't even in version two yet. So I just downloaded the new version. Anyway, all right, back to this. So there are a lot of steps to take, but it's not hard to do. And if you really want colors changed in an image that you have, then it's well worth the time it takes. It doesn't take long, okay? Um, but Right now, what you're going to want to do is get a piece of paper and a pencil pen and write down these steps as I go through the video. And then, you know, you can pause it or rewind it and really watch it after you get these steps written down. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and I'm going to just come up here. To, this is where all my images will be. I'm going to click on that X to get rid of it and go to File, Open. And I'm going to choose this cute little spring gnome. And um, to zoom in on this, you can use the zoom down here um, to, you know, 200%. Or you can hold control and roll your mouse wheel, okay? And then, um, so let's see, any other thing I want to say before I start? No, I don't think so. All right, so the first thing you want to do is come over here to this layer and left click on it to select it, right click and um, add an alpha channel, okay? Uh, which is right here. Now, if it's grayed out and you can't add it, that's fine. But if you can click on that, go ahead and click on that, okay? And then um, create a duplicate of this down here at the bottom, right in the center about, is uh, create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. So go ahead and click on that. And then come up to Colors and Saturation. And turn your scale all the way down. Just left click and drag or you can use the arrows but with it being at what was it a thousand or whatever it takes a long time using the arrows. So just click in here and drag it. All right. Once you do that then click OK and then right click on this top layer and then you're going to add layer mask. Okay. Then uh, make sure that black full transparency is selected and click add. Then you're going to come over here to the left to your brush tool and select that paintbrush. Over here on the right you have all of your styles of brushes. Just choose the number two hardness. This is um, number two hardness but it's 0.25 this one is 0 0.50 so choose the second one here that's the one I always use anyways um, okay and then after you do that then make sure that your top color here is white so if they're you know if it's not white you can click on it and you can change it to white okay or um, if there is a white just use these arrows to swap them. Just make sure that the white is on the top, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, color over 
whatever it is you want to change. Okay, I'm going to just ch change the color of these roses here. So what I'm going to do is hold control and zoom in. Now it's going to get pixelated, but that's all right. And over here under size, I'm going to bring this down to probably about, I don't know, a four. Okay. And then I'm going to just left click and drag my mouse around this pink and you can see that it's turning gray so it's erasing the pink color and that's what we want okay so you can do a lot better job on yours than what I'm gonna do on mine I'm just showing you the process here and then I'll enlarge that in a minute let me come over here and get this part and now I'm sure there's several ways to do this. Um, I know you can do it by selection, but um, for now, this is what I decided to do. All right, then I can increase my size a little bit. Uh, not that much. <laughs> Let's try maybe that much. And then I can cover more area here. We get going. And I think I want to get a little more of that pink out. Okay. And come over here and finish this one off. Okay. So once I've done that, then I'm going to um, come back over to the right and right click on that layer and I'm going to apply a layer mask, okay? And then I'm going to duplicate that. Then I'm gonna to come to colors, colorize, and you can already see that they've changed. So I have hue, saturation, lightness, if I don't Find the color that I like here. I can, you know, play with these sliders. Um, however, I want to decide to change the colors. Um, as you can see, I missed a bunch of spots, but you can watch for that. And you can go back to your layer and grab your brush and fix anything that needs to be fixed. Um, let's see. Let me cancel out of that. And let me just move this slider for the hue and I think I want like a purple oh, maybe an even lighter or darker you know I don't know why I'm wasting so much time <laughs> sorry guys all right so then choose your color and just choose okay all right and then zoom back out and that's it you're done so you sorry about that <laughs> <laughs> just knock something over so you can um, come to file and save as and then I'm gonna save it to my desktop and I'm gonna name it um, purple gnome all right and then I'm going to select the file type by extension Okay, when I do that, you can see I only have the GIMP XCF um, file types here. So if I come back up here to purple gnome and type in dot um, JPG for JPEG and click save, this box is going to come up and I can click on take me to the export dialog and then click on select file by extension and then I can find JPEG oops and click on that and click export another box is going to pop up click export okay then I'm going to close this out I'm all done I saved it already so I can discard any changes and then I can come to file open and choose uh, purple gnome open and there it is so that's how you can change colors in 
the free program, raster editing program named GIMP. Um, not hard to do, like I said, just uh, make sure that you take the steps down because if you don't make your mask layer when you're supposed to or your alpha channel, if you forget that, or um, you, know, you don't do your color saturation, all that, then it's not going to work. So make sure you write down the steps and you should be able to do it, no problem. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I can be found in either one of the two groups that I have listed in the description of the video as well. So thanks for watching.